Ali Cecere and welcome to the Earth from Space program on the European Space Agency Web TV. In this false color image from August 20th, Sentinel-2A brings us to Utah's Salt Lake City and surroundings in the U.S. Utah's capital, Salt Lake City, sits at 1,300 meters, bordered by the waters of the Great Salt Lake and the peaks of the Wasatch Range, which rise over 1.6 kilometers above the Salt Lake Valley floor. The Great Salt Lake, partly visible on the left side of the image, is the largest saltwater lake in the Western Hemisphere. Owing to its shallowness, its size shifts substantially. The lighter blue areas denote solar evaporation ponds at the edges of the lake, which produce salts and brine. The lake contributes an estimated $1.3 billion annually to Utah's economy, comprising the harvesting of brine shrimp, industry and mineral extraction, and recreation. Although it has been referred to as America's Dead Sea, the lake provides habitat for millions of native birds, brine shrimp, shorebirds, and waterfowl. The Southern Pacific Causeway, completed in the 1950s, was built to create a shorter route across the lake, visible across the top part. This acts as a dam, where the northern end of the lake became more saline than the southern because the Jordan, Weber and Bear Lakes all flow southwards. To appreciate this better, we can compare the natural color composite of the same area. Using this band combination, the variations in the water are more evident. However, the drawback is that we lose the efficacy of the infrared band in monitoring vegetation. The mountains and several parks appear in varying shades of red, owing to this false color band combination. This indicates how sensitive the multispectral instrument on Sentinel-2A is to differences in chlorophyll content, providing key information on vegetation health. The scattered grays and whites visible along the center of the image are the city of Salt Lake, home to some 190,000 people and to important mining operations in its surroundings, which produce copper, gold, platinum, silver, lead, and zinc, among others, along with various salts from the lake. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European time. Watch us on our website at www.esa.int. From the ESA Web TV studios, have a very nice day.